Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. For those of you that are new here, my name is Ellie and I'm the founder of Code of the Future and today I'm going to be starting a brand new programming language called Rust. So many of you are probably wondering why have I decided to start teaching people Rust? You know, what what's the attraction to the programming language and also what are the features of this new programming language that I'll be teaching on this channel? And that's exactly what I'm going to get into the video right now. So I'm going to put my glasses on and I'll move you onto the screen. Okay, so the reason why I've moved you onto my screen instead of just talking to the camera is because I want to show you this documentation here, which is called the Rust programming language. This is the link right here and I will leave this link in the description. And I'm essentially just going to walk you through this book. Um, it has all of the key things that you need to know about Rust and it's just a nice, it has a really nice structure. So I'm going to essentially follow the structure of this and teach you everything but through videos instead of text. So if you want to learn a little bit more about Rust, then we have all of this introduction here, which you can have, you know, have a look at, um, which is why I'm linking the description below. This is why I've moved you onto the screen, but I'm going to go back to the camera and just tell you a little bit more about Rust. Okay, so I guess the first thing is, why am I teaching you this programming language? Why am I teaching you Rust? So interestingly, I thought I'd start the video by saying that Rust has been voted the most beloved programming language for six years on the trot, so six years in a row. And I just thought I'd start the video explaining that, that it's one of those languages that people really, really love. And I just want to show you some cool features about it. I think it's one of those programming languages that is definitely getting more attention. But the language itself is actually growing in popularity and that is due to some really, really cool features that I'm going to get into now. So first things first with the features, Rust is known as a statically and strongly typed programming language, which means a few different things and it may confuse you to begin with, but we will explain it you know, throughout this course what it means, but I'll give you a little brief summary for now. Statically typed means that the types of all the variables are known or inferred by the compiler and strongly typed means it does not allow you to use one type as another. Now this may not make a whole load of sense when you're listening to this video and that's absolutely fine. We'll be explaining what exactly what those two things mean and showing examples in Rust, but it's something that you may not expect. In Python, which I've taught pro predominantly on this channel, we are used to just saying, okay, let, you know, let's have x equals five. And Python knows that that's an integer. It can store it as an integer, you know, 32 bit or whatever it is that it stores it as. But then we are then able to change that variable and, and manipulate it and do some things with it in Python. Whereas Rust mm. isn't quite the same. Now I'm gonna leave that as a bit of a teaser for Rust and we'll be showing you some examples in this tutorial series. So that's the first thing to mention is the strongly and statically typed, which is a huge part of Rust. And that's why it's the first thing that I'll mention in this summary of Rust's features. Another feature of Rust is its compatibility. So let's say I made a Rust file on my Mac. Uh, I did some coding in there and had you know, a file that I can execute myself, I can run and it does some things for me. Now, if I was to send this Rust file that I'd created to, I don't know, my sister who is currently upstairs on her Mac and she opened it, she can actually run that file. So what it does is Rust takes your file, it compiles it into a binary executable file, which may not make much sense, but I'll, I'll explain everything, you know, as we go throughout this, the series. So that means my sister upstairs could run this file that I have, this executable file, without actually having Rust installed. So that's the beauty of it. You can quite literally send this, you know, send a file that you've, you've made, this executable file that, that Rust has compiled itself, send it to anybody that's on the same operating system. Mac and Linux are kind of compatible with each other, but Windows and Mac, not the same. So I couldn't send something from a Windows to a Mac. It, it doesn't, you know, it doesn't work the same way. But regardless, if you are on the same operating system, you can then send that to somebody else on the same operating system and they can run, you got a Rust file, which I think is so cool. It just means that, you know, if you wanted to send it to somebody that doesn't have this programming language installed on their, on their operating system, fine, it still works. And that's another key feature of Rust that I really, really like. Feature number three is Rust's error handling. Now, just learning a bit of Rust, I have actually been quite blown away by how well it handles its errors and kind of prompts that it gives you to solve errors that occur in your system. And in my opinion, I think the error handling is slightly better than Python, uh, you know, I, I will admit. Um, as much as a, of a Python lover as I am, <laughs> um, the error handling is really, really good. Another thing that I really like about Rust is that you can actually, before you compile your file, so 
essentially what you need to do is you'll you'll create a file then you need to compile it so that you can then create this binary executable file and before you even compile it rust has a method built in with it that you can actually just check you know check whether it will run check if there's any errors so you can check whether it will compile without actually having to compile it that might sound a little bit strange um, but hopefully you'll understand what, what I mean by that. So that is another really handy feature of Rust. So Rust itself was actually built for high performance like C and C++ but where it benefits, you know, where it's better than C++ and C is its safety, its code safety, which admittedly is uh, C and C++'s Achilles heel, I would say. So its code safety is really, really, really handy in Rust. And that's something, you know, that's a reason why certain companies are transitioning to Rust just because of that safety feature that it has. And it's something that we will explore in this in this series. But that's something really worth mentioning because it's one of the high, you know, key fundamental features of, of Rust and the reason it was created in the first place. Now, I could talk forever about Rust and about what I've learned, you know, while learning this language and some of the cool features that there are but I feel like I will probably end up speaking forever on this video. I'll be here forever. So I'm just giving you some of the key features of Rust now, just so you can see, okay, this, these are the kind of main features that Rust offers. And then throughout this course, we will see other features in action. One final thing that I did want to mention is there are some huge companies that are actually using Rust, you know, using it, integrating it into their systems. So I have a list here. We have companies like Google, Facebook, Microsoft, Amazon, and in fact, Linux were considering writing, and I think they are still considering this, writing a new Linux kernel code in Rust, which is pretty, pretty cool. But what I wanted to say, say is that it is becoming a language that is used in some form of sense throughout different companies. Startups are using it uh, especially. And it's one of those languages that I just really, really want to teach you on this channel because I think it has huge ap applicability and will help you learn some pretty cool programming. And I just love it as a language. As much as I do love Python, um, I also really, really, you know, I've really enjoyed learning Rust. So all in all, Rust is, you know, a well-loved programming language. It has some pretty awesome features and I am so excited to teach you more about it on this course. So that has been video number one, just explaining what Rust is, giving you some of the fundamental features. In the next video, I'll be explaining how you can download and install Rust onto your computer so that you can get underway and start coding in Rust. So that has been the video today. I hope you enjoyed it. Please give the video a big thumbs up, comment down below, subscribe to the channel as well. There is also a Patreon that I've set up and a donation page if you fancy checking those out. The links will be in the description. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.